Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen and welcome if you are new. I'm excited that you're here. So we are still in Pantry Challenge 2024 and we are going to make taco soup. If you missed the video, uh, I'll leave the playlist down for you guys in the description box. But a few days ago we did a um, casserole that I was able to use part of some frozen taco meat that I had in the freezer as well as some fresh corn and bell peppers and jalapenos that I had also in my freezer and I had these saved out and I said, I'm going to make some taco soup. So that's what we're doing tonight. We're going to scrounge through our cupboard, <laughs> through our fridge. We're going to find whatever we can to make this taco soup and it's going to be delicious. So let's get it in the pot. All right, friends. So I scrounged through our refrigerator, freezer, cupboard, everything to see what we had that we could make this taco soup with. Because as I said, we are in pantry challenge, so we are not shopping. So we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in this pan. We're gonna go ahead and put in our corn with our bell pepper and our jalapeno. Let's get our heat on. And I don't have any fresh onion in my house, so I'm still using my um, dehydrated onion that I got from Costco. So we're gonna put in a little of that. We've got a can of black beans. I'm gonna drain these, but I'm not going to rinse them. So we're gonna get our corn and peppers and stuff just started before we add anything else to it. This is gonna be a really super quick taco soup. I am out of tomato sauce. I'm out of um, like Rotel or any of the canned tomatoes. So we're gonna use salsa because that's what I have in my fridge. So that's gonna be the base, the tomato base for our taco soup. Okay, I can really smell the peppers and all that stuff in there now. So we're gonna put in a little bit of our better than bouillon. We're gonna use the beef, because we're using ground beef. We're not making a huge batch of soup, so I'm just gonna use a little bit. And I've said this before several times, I like to toast my better than bouillon in my pan before I add my water. I think it helps develop the flavors a little bit better. I'm also going to put in just a little bit of taco seasoning. It is taco soup and we do have taco meat, but I want a little bit of extra taco flavor in this soup. So we're going to put that in there. So this can all be toasting together. Oh my gosh, friends, the smell. All right, let's go ahead and add in our black beans. We've got a little bit of ground beef or taco meat that we had in our freezer. Um, if you missed the other part of this when I first started the pantry challenge, I was talking about how when I go to Costco, I buy two six pound packages of ground beef. And one of those I bring home. I bring both of them home, obviously. But I, one of them, I split it up into six one pound packages and I vacuum seal them just plain ground beef. Then the other six pound package, I take that one and I split that, cook the whole thing, the whole six pounds, and I take half of it and I season it with just salt and pepper. And then I split that into three one pound packages. Then the other half of that, I add taco seasoning to it. And I split that into three one pound packages and it goes into my freezer. And I do that so that I have convenience meat already cooked. If I wanna make a spaghetti, I've already got ground beef with just salt and pepper. If I want to have tacos or burritos or nachos or whatever, I've got taco meat ready to go as well. So let's go ahead and put in some salsa. Let's just add it all. Why not? This is pantry challenge and I'm trying to get rid of stuff in my fridge. So let's stir that around before we add some water to it. All 
All right, we're gonna add in some water. And I don't wanna water this down too much. good I think for right now I'm going to turn it down let it simmer and we're gonna let it simmer for probably a good 30 minutes because I want to give it a really good chance to develop some good flavors in there because we're just using some very basic simple ingredients so we're gonna let it come to a boil all right so we got our soup going a little while ago and I turned it off because we weren't quite ready for dinner but I'm gonna add a little bit of ranch powder to this because there's a recipe and I will share this with you guys later. There's a, a chili that I used to give as a Christmas gift to people all the time um, that had all of the seasonings and all the things ready to go in this chili and it was so good. It became a huge hit with all of our family and friends that we would give it to. So I'm going to add a little bit of ranch powder to this and we're going to let this finish simmer and we're going to shred up some cheese get our sour cream and our bowls ready to go, and we're gonna sit down and have a delicious bowl of taco soup. All right, friends, so this is our pantry challenge taco soup. I'm gonna put this in a bowl. We've got some shredded cheese, some sour cream, and we've got some taco chips or tortilla chips that need to be used up. The bag's been open for, um, Mm, about a week, week and a half, something like that. So they're, they might be just a little bit stale, but you know what, they're gonna be perfect for this soup. So there's our soup, let's go put the toppings on it. All right, friends, so we've got our taco soup here. We've got a little bit of pepper jack cheese. We've got a little bit of cheddar cheese. We like both of these, so we're gonna put a little bit of both on. We've got some sour cream. Put a little bit of sour cream on top of this soup, just like that. And I'm just gonna put, hubby will probably put a few more, but I'm just gonna put a few tortilla chips right here on the side of his bowl, just like that. Friends, here is our pantry challenge, taco soup. So tasty, can't wait. It smells incredible, can't wait to go eat this. It's gonna be super tasty. All right, friends, I've been in the kitchen all day doing a whole bunch of recipes for a collab that's going up tomorrow on Sunday the 14th. So if you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link in the description box for you guys for that collab so you can check that out. But I'm taking it easy tonight for dinner <laughs> because I'm tired. We are in the middle of an ice storm here and not sure if we're gonna lose power. So we're doing something really quick and simple for dinner tonight. We are gonna do something special for a quick dessert that we found and we are on pantry challenge. So I'm trying to use up what I have in my house not trying to you know, go out, trying not to shop, all the things. So we did a shopping trip um, a couple weeks ago. We went to Trader Joe's and we found this breaded tilapia. Get this, you guys can see it. There we go. Um, so my sister-in-law loves this and so we wanted to try it. So we had this in the freezer, figured this would be a really quick, easy dinner one night when I need something super simple. So we're gonna do that. And I wanted to try these. Um, French fries. I would heard about them from some people that have tried them from Trader Joe's. So that's what we're going to do tonight. Super simple, easy dinner because I'm tired and it's cold here and we are just in the middle of a mess. So yeah, we're going to do something really simple. So let's get this in the oven so we can sit down and eat dinner and then we're going to do a really special fun dessert. So I'm going to get our tilapia opened. I'm excited to try this. Um, I don't have any tartar sauce in my house, but I'm gonna see if I can make some kind of a sauce to go with our fish because I don't have lemon, so I can't make any tartar sauce, but I can make another kind of sauce. So I'll see what I can get done to go with our fish. These are really nice pieces of tilapia. It looks really good. So we're gonna get this put down. I'm gonna put some foil down because I don't wanna have to scrub this. I've already done dishes probably four times today <laughs> with all the recipes that we were cooking earlier. So 
I don't want to do the dishes anymore. All right, I think I'm going to cook two of these. I think that'll be plenty. They're pretty good size. So we're going to put this in the oven. I'm going to give it a little bit of a spray with some avocado oil. Let's get our french fries on here too. We'll spray those as well. These look like really nice french fries. I'm going to spread these out. I'm going to give them a spray. Put a little bit of salt on them. So we're going kind of fish and chips tonight for dinner. As I said, we're in the middle of pantry challenge and so we're trying to eat what we have at home. All right, let's give our fish. I'm gonna spray both sides. One, because I don't want this to stick to my, to my pan or to my foil. And two, I want it to get nice and crispy. So there is our avocado oil. We've got our Redmond's real salt. We're gonna put that on our fries and then we're gonna to toss our fries around. Get those nice and coated in our salt and oil and that's gonna go in the oven. All right, I'm gonna make a little bit of a sauce. See what we can find in our cupboard. I don't have any lemon juice. I don't even think I have any pickles to make, even a tartar sauce type anything. So, all right, so I went through my cupboard and just kind of found some things that I think will work to make some kind of a sauce to go on our fish. So I have some lemon pepper. This is my favorite Kinder's lemon pepper. So we'll add some of that'll give us the lemon flavor that we're missing from not having fresh lemon. I'm gonna put in some dill. I love dill and fish together. Put in a little bit of parsley. Little onion powder. And I'm gonna put in a little of this wood fired garlic. Cause I think we need a little bit of a little punch and to give me that bite that I'm missing from not having lemon I'm gonna put a little bit of red wine vinegar in this and see how that kind of balances things out because you really want that that bite that you get from the pickles and from the lemon and since I don't have either one of those tonight for this sauce we're just gonna put a little bit of red wine vinegar and hopefully that's gonna give us that acid that we're missing. I think it needs a little bit more. There we go. Red wine vinegar is turning in a little bit pink, but that's okay. All right, let's get a spoon and we'll taste it. Mm. You know what, friends? I think that's going to work. I do want to put just a little more vinegar, though. It has a little bite, but it's not enough for me. All right, I think that is going to be perfect. And you know what, friends? I don't think we're going to miss not having tartar sauce tonight for our fish. We're making do with what we've got in our pantry. All right, let's... Give it one more little. Mm. You know what? I like that. That's really tasty. All right, so there's our sauce. We've got our fish and our fries in the oven cooking. And we'll have dinner ready here soon. All right, our fish and our fries are done. Super excited to eat this. As I said, or I, not, I haven't told you guys <laughs> the video that we did earlier today. We kind of just been snacking on all of the things from that video. So 
I'm ready to eat something besides that stuff. So we've got our fish and our fries are ready to go. I'm gonna have hubby give this a taste so you guys can see what he thinks of this new fish that we found at Trader Joe's. Excited to try this. Like I said, my sister-in-law loves it, so she had me get her two boxes, so we thought we would try it too and see how we like it. We've got our homemade sauce here. Actually, hubby tasted the sauce and he said he actually likes it better than tartar sauce. So that's what happens when you are in a pantry challenge and you have to make something from scratch. <laughs> it turns out better, so let's get this plated up. So here is our fish and our fries. Let me give hubby a, a nice chunk and some french fries. These fries look like really good french fries. I am a huge fan of french fries. So these look, these look really tasty. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of sauce on his plate so he can dip his fish. Nice. So there's his... I'm gonna take this crunchy corner there. You wanna just use your fingers? I think so. It came out really crunchy. That's really good fish. You want to try a french fry? Mm. We've never had these fries before. This was something new we found at Trader's. Mm. Very good. good seasoning. There you go. I'm sorry right. to talk with my mouth full. <laughs> All right, I'm going to dish mine up. We're going to go sit down and enjoy a good dinner and try to survive the rest of this ice storm that is happening around us right now. All right, here is our panko crusted tilapia french fries and our homemade sauce. Pantry challenge, we had to do something, come up with something. We didn't have any tartar sauce, so we made something. Hubby says it's better. So excited to go eat this. I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me. We've got one more, more recipe for you guys in this video. So stay tuned for that. All right, as I said, we are in pantry challenge and we have been kind of binge watching a little YouTube today. Came across this really fun lady that was in another collab that I just did a couple days ago. Um, and she has a really neat channel. Her, her channel is called Cooking with Sherry. And she made pumpkin pie tacos for dessert. Well, I have some apple pie filling in my refrigerator left over from Christmas and I need to use it. So Tubby and I are like, let's make some apple pie tacos tonight for dessert. So we don't typically eat dessert. We just thought this would be something fun to do, a fun little recipe to share with you guys. So we're gonna get these made really quick and we're gonna have a fun dessert. So you can use the street taco size tortillas if you want make bigger ones. Or I just have a burrito size tortilla and my large um, biscuit cutter. And I'm just cutting out these rounds. I'm just gonna make four little tacos for us. It'll be two a piece will be plenty of dessert tonight. We don't, like I said, we don't typically eat dessert, but we just thought this would be something fun um, to do. We don't need to keep this. So we've got a little bit of butter. I just melted this in the microwave. I'm gonna put some sugar on this plate. I don't think I need all of that. A little bit of cinnamon. And I'm just gonna mix this together with my hands. All right, so what we're gonna do is you need to have a muffin tin upside down for this. I'm just gonna put my butter up here. So we're gonna take our tortilla dip a brush in your melted butter and you're gonna brush the melted butter on one side and then you're gonna drop it in your sugar, your cinnamon and sugar, get that all over your tortilla. You're gonna do the other side because you want this coated on both sides with the butter and the cinnamon and sugar. And then you're gonna take your tortilla and you're gonna put it like this, right in between those cups so that it cooks it like a taco shell. So we're gonna just finish these last three and then we're gonna get these things in the oven. We have our oven preheating at 375 so that we can cook these.
the shoulder to cry on. Everyone needs a helping hand. Everyone needs someone to rely on. Yes, everyone needs a friend. These are going to go in our 375 degree oven until they are golden brown and crispy. All right, I thought it was recording, but it wasn't. But we're gonna we're gonna do another taste. These are really good, though, by the way. Mmm. <clears throat> Very tasty. Mm -hmm. Very good. We're gonna go eat these. We'll see you later. Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen and welcome if you are new, I'm excited you're here. Happy Sunday, we are home today. Um, we are in the middle of an ice storm here where I live in Oregon. And so we are stuck at home <laughs> for the weekend, probably for the next couple of days actually, because our roads are iced over. Um, they've issued a warning for everybody to stay off the roads until they get things cleared up. And so we're trying to do our best to just stay home, hunker down. We've just been spending time together, just doing things in the kitchen, cooking. So taking advantage of this time to get some laundry going as you can hear my washers running right now um just trying to get some things done around here that i haven't had a chance to do so i'm gonna get dinner in the crock pot we are praying we don't lose power we did lose power a little bit last night but um it's back on now obviously so we're gonna get dinner going in the crock pot hope and pray that we don't lose power today so that our dinner can get done and um we are just super thankful and super blessed that god's had his hand over our house today and and during this storm and we're praying for all of our family and friends that live in this area that um, are without power right now we have over a thousand people without power in this area and they're waiting to try to get it restored the linemen are working double and triple time right now they had to relieve them and send them home last night because it was just too dangerous to be out there so they sent them home got them back out there at six o'clock this morning to start working on getting power restored but um, we are good, we're safe, and we are gonna get some dinner going in the crock pot. I'm excited about this recipe that we're gonna do today. I found a new channel recently um, through one of the collabs that I was just in. Her channel is called Cooking with Sherry. I love her videos, they're very simple. What she makes is very simple. I love that she involves her husband in the videos and he gets to taste all the, the wonderful recipes that she makes. And so we're gonna do a recipe. I actually have done this recipe, but it's been a really long time since we've had it. Hubby saw it when we were watching it yesterday and he's like, we need to do that. So we're gonna do it. We're in the middle of pantry challenge, which is kind of funny that we're stuck at home and we're in the middle of pantry challenge. So I can't go to the store anyway if I wanted to, but we're making it work. So we're gonna make this recipe. It's called Swiss chicken. And Hubby and I are not fans of Swiss cheese. I just don't like Swiss cheese. They're just, it's just an off-putting flavor to me. So we're gonna substitute Monterey Jack because I have a little chunk of Monterey Jack cheese to use up. We're gonna put three chicken breasts in the crock pot. I'm cutting, cutting this recipe kind of in half. I'm cutting the chicken in half, but I'm not cutting the sauce in half because it calls for a full can of cream, and ch cream of chicken soup. I, what am I gonna do with a half a can? So we're gonna go ahead and put the full sauce in there. We're gonna use the full box of stuffing mix and we're just gonna do two, three chicken breasts and that's gonna be perfect for us for dinner tonight. We'll figure out what else we're gonna do with it for some extra sides, but let's get it in the crock pot and let's get this made. So I'm gonna put three chicken breasts in my crock pot. They are still a little bit frozen, but it's gonna be fine. Um, we're gonna cook this on low. The recipe says that it cooks for, um, and I was having issues with my um, vacuum sealer when I got these chicken breasts. So they are not vacuum sealed, they're just double bagged. But we, um, we're just gonna put this in here. It's probably gonna take closer to five to six hours to cook this instead of the four that it says, but it's gonna be fine. We're just gonna let this cook. We've got lots of other projects to get done in the kitchen today. So we are just going to enjoy being in the kitchen. We're gonna be thankful that we've still got power. <laughs> we've got groceries. So we're just gonna get this dinner going. The rest of the projects, I will leave a link in the description box. So the recipe says to put your Swiss chicken, or as I said, we're using Monterey Jack because that's what I have and that's what I like. So we're just gonna cut this into some thin slices so that we can put this on top of our chicken. And then we're gonna mix up our sauce. We're gonna put the stuffing mix on it and 
we're gonna let this cook all day and then it'll be ready for us to have a warm meal tonight which we will be thankful for I have not done this recipe in the crock pot before I have done this recipe in the oven so I'm excited to try this recipe in the crock pot so we're just gonna take our Monterey Jack chicken or Monterey Jack cheese and put this on our chicken. That's what I meant to say. So just get it all on there, however you can. All right, let's get our sauce mixed up. So I'm gonna change the sauce up just a little bit, just because I know what we like as far as flavor goes. This is gonna be a warm and comforting dinner tonight with all of the ice that we've had here recently. We've got quite a bit of it. We've got several down trees in our yard right now that we are not going to do anything about those. It's just not very safe to be outside messing with those while trees are still so heavily covered with ice. So I'm gonna put a little bit of Italian seasoning in here just for a little bit of extra flavor. I'm gonna put in a little bit of garlic powder I'm going to put in a little bit of parsley, just for a little bit of color. And a little bit of onion powder. Then it calls for a quarter of a cup of milk. I'm gonna switch to a whisk so I can get this sauce all mixed up nice and blended, get all the flavors combined. Trying not to splash it all over my kitchen. to start off slow when you're, <laughs> when you're doing this. Makes it a little bit loose, but it's gonna be fine. The other thing that I'm gonna do, and I don't think I'm gonna do it quite yet with this, is I'm gonna put a can of green beans in this. We love these Del Monte green beans with the um, peppers. Let's see, what is it? Onions, red peppers, and garlic. So we're gonna add that to this so it makes it more of like a one pot type meal. And I'm probably going to make some fresh bread so that we can have some fresh bread with our dinner tonight. All right, I think that's good, good enough. Let's get this poured over our chicken and the cheese. I love that I get to take advantage of this weather and still be able to play in my kitchen because I still have power. It was actually a perfect timing that this happened when it did because as I said I'm in the middle of pantry challenge so I, it really is forcing me to use what we have here and not think about oh you know what, let's just go grab some quick easy stuff at the store just so we don't have to think about it but we have been very fortunate um, that we have not lost power for any length of time. We've got our box of our chicken stuffing mix and I think I will probably add the green beans to this the last maybe the last hour that this is in the crock pot and that will allow them to heat up and then they will be all heated up and nice and ready for us let's go ahead and put all of our stuffing mix on top of this Hubby is thinking that he may want some mashed potatoes with this tonight, so we may end up doing some mashed potatoes. All right, so there is our Swiss chicken. I'm gonna leave my can of green beans right here so they're ready to go when I'm ready to put those in there. We're gonna turn this on low, and we are going to let this. I'm gonna put this for about five hours on low. 
All right, friends, this is our last recipe in this video. This is our Swiss chicken, which we turned into Monterey Jack chicken because I don't like Swiss cheese, but this is what it looks like. Super tasty, super excited to go eat this and very thankful that we have food. And so we're excited about that. As you guys saw in the title of this video, we are in the middle of an ice storm here in the Northwest where we live. We've been losing power periodically here and there. So it's really been a challenge to cook some things. Um, we literally just lost power again. And so I think we're gonna go dig out our camp stove and put the bottle of propane on it and have that ready just in case we need to cook something and, we, and our power hasn't been restored yet. There are people in our area right here where we live that are still without power and have been without power since Saturday. This is now Tuesday. So um, yeah, I think we're gonna go get our little propane stove out. So maybe you guys will see that tonight. Maybe that'll be the next video. Who knows what's gonna happen because we are in the middle of an ice storm. <laughs> so you just never know what's gonna happen, but we're gonna go eat this. We're gonna enjoy this. And friends, we will see you guys in the next video. If you are in my area in the Northwest in Oregon and you guys are dealing with the ice, please be careful, please stay home because the more we get out there on the roads, the more we take time away from the people that need to be doing things that they should be doing as far as our first responders go. They need to be tending to people that really need the help and not people that are out just driving around. So we have not left our house since Friday night. <laughs> we've been here. Luckily, we've had lots of things to keep us busy and it's just been super fun to get in the kitchen and cook. So anyway, as I said, we're close to our 1000 subscribers. I've been saying that for quite a while. We are super, super close now. We're at 975 friends, so close. Keep sharing this channel. I am so excited about what this new year has. The rest of this uh, pantry challenge is gonna be super fun. So don't miss that. Hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any of our videos. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. And friends, we appreciate you guys. We love you. We thank you for your support over this last year in this YouTube journey that we've been on. And we hope friends that you enjoy the content that we're sharing with you. Please be safe out there and we'll talk to you guys in the video or in the comments. <laughs> See you later. God bless.